Ricardo Wazos dancing. Yeah, now, Chris, obviously you coming from the striking background. You see a fighter with his mouth open. Do you go in for the kill and try to knock him out? Yeah, go down to that body. Wazos should, should go down to the body a little bit and, and just open up that head. Come down with a, with a, with a body kick. He's, he's yeah. got excellent, excellent kicks. If you remember Charles McCarthy in the UFC, Loazzo put him out with a body kick, spinning body kick. Oh, Ooh. big hook. Big Solomon left. Hutchison comes back with a right-left combination of his own. Takes it and throws back. Hutchison looks focused. He looks intense. He really wants to spoil the party tonight and take the belt back to the United States. Yeah, I think Loazzo had him hurt and had him tired there for a bit, and maybe it might be a, a bit of a mistake that he didn't get on him, but let's see. He's doing a little dancing, a little weaving, a little, little head moving. Watch for his quick strikes. Hey, Chris, you, you, know, you look at this right now. Is David Loazzo just trying to recuperate at this point? Yeah, he's trying to recuperate and, and get uh, Solomon Hutchison to, to overcommit. Oh. Something like that. Overcommit for the takedown oh, for a punch. A little bit of this taekwondo. Chris oh, called it. A, a spinning head kick. Called it perfectly. Used that time to try to set something up. He Think about his options. Exactly. He wants Solomon to come in there and take advantage of his hands being down. Solomon's smart. Solomon's countering the counterfighter right now. He's going to finish strong. Solomon wants to steal this round. And I would have to agree with you, Robin Black. I do think that Solomon Hutcherson stole that round. But man, he's one of the best wrestlers out there. He's saying, get the job done. Get him to his back and finish the fight. This is it. He's, he's telling Hutcherson he has to win this round to win this belt. This is it. It's all on this round. I can imagine the wow, same advice no coming from Loazzo's corner. They know that it, it could very easily come down to what happens here. Loazzo trying to fake the kick low, coming back up to the head. And Hutcherson stalking David Loazzo. Big punches. Big knee. Knee strike. Loazzo going for the takedown. Hutcherson puts David Loazzo's back against the cage and starts working the body once again. And it seems to be paying off for Hutcherson. He's keeping the, keeping the distance, keeping his hips back. A knee strike delivered by Hutcherson. Have to be careful now. The over under. Man, he is turning David Loazzo's inside into poutine tonight. <laughs> Loazzo trying to circle off the cage. Unsuccessful. Loazzo with the double underhooks. But Solomon using that opportunity to knee the body, knee the legs. Big, big elbow. Big knee strike delivered by Hutcherson. More than happy to just grind this out and punish the body of Loazzo. Hutchison is getting the better of the inside fight, but every time they separate, he's in danger of getting those huge elbows and knees from David Loazzo. And I'll go back to that. What we've seen of David Loazzo in the past is that he keeps it, his fighters at a distance, his opponents at a distance with that lightning fast jab. And I find it strange that tonight he uses that quick jab to get inside. And there we see another elbow delivered by Loazzo. The clinch!
fifth round, he manages to pull out the stoppage. This truly is a new David Loazzo, not an old David Loazzo. Yeah, wow. wow. Obviously, obviously very disappointing for Solomon Hutcherson. But all the respect in the world, he came to fight, he came to take that title home. Man, as a fan, what more could you ask for than this for the fifth in the fifth round with the hometown guy finishing it? Great, a great main event. In Canada's fastest rising, hottest promotion right now, XMMA. Guys, I'll, I'll tell you, I am very impressed with XMMA. They put on a fantastic show. Clearly, all the fans at home watching, they know what show they saw. Most of the fights are finishes. The one fight that went to a decision, of course, Aaron Riley and Steve Clubo, an absolute war, capped off with an excellent main event. And we're going to send it up. Dans le quatrième round, la foule s'impatientait un petit peu, voulait que tu allumes la machine. Tu l'as fait en cinquième round. Tu as tout laissé aller. Parle-moi un petit peu de ça. Um, je suis très content. Uh, le, je pense que c'est au premier round, il m'a fait un, un slam, puis j'ai disloqué mon, mon épaule gauche. C'est pour ça que ça a pris du temps avant que je me remette dedans. Mais, uh, mais uh, j'ai du conditionnement physique de classe mondiale. Grâce à mes entraîneurs, uh, Jonathan Chamberg, Firaz Zahabi, Greg Jackson, Howard Grant. Il y a tellement de monde qui m'aide. Montreal Wrestling Club. <laughs> Tout le monde qui m'aide. Bruno Fernandez. So many people. Beaucoup de monde. Juste avant que je te laisse avec uh, Nicky Ryan pour The Fight Network, peut-être quelques mots sur ton adversaire, Solomon Hutchison, qui t'a livré un beau combat. <laughs> Solomon Hutchison, je donne tout le respect au monde. Il est resté dedans. Euh, je l'ai envoyé au tapis. Je pense à chaque, à chaque round dans les trois premiers. Puis il s'est relevé. Il y avait la condition physique. Il, il a le cœur d'un champion. Il mérite tout le respect de tout le monde ici. Faites du bruit tout le monde pour David de Crow, l'oiseau. Nicky Ryan. Hi, David. That's a, that's a nice looking belt you got there. Nice looking what? Belt. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I'm very proud. Uh, you know, I've been five rounds before, so I knew I could go five rounds again, and uh, I was in shape, thanks to my condition trainer, Jonathan Chamberg, Faraz Zahabi, Greg Jackson, Howard Grant, Bruno Fernandez, so many people, and God blessed me with so many people to help me out. I'm very grateful. Now, the, the belt aside, how important was this win for you tonight? It was my comeback in my hometown. I had to win. <laughs> I just had to. You took quite a bit of body work there. Um, the body's fine. Uh, I get worse punishment in training. Uh, but just, I dislocated my shoulder in the first round uh, on a slam. So my arm slipped and I thought the fight was done, but I kept going. That's why I had, it took me a while to, to get my, my, my stuff together, you know? 